how are we doing this function thing? So, to find out the function, you have to make a table so that it's easy for you to find it. Um, uh, so you do the x1, x and the y, and then you do the table. And as you do the table, you check the function over here. You see the the minus two x, so you usually try the numbers that are easier to divide. X can be usually like zero, one, two, three, or zero, negative one, negative two, negative three. That will usually give you the easier answer. So during this negative two thing, um, uh, I'm just gonna put zero. And negative two times zero equals. 0 plus 4, so y equals 4. And that will go on as I increase the number, so I'll put this as 1. So negative 2 times 1 equals 2. Negative 2. And then negative 2 plus 4 equals 2. And so I'm doing 2. So negative 2 times 2 equals negative 4. And negative 4 equals, equals 0 plus 1. I'm going to do this more time. So, if the next number is 3, 2 times 3 equals uh, 6. Yeah, 6, so. Uh, 6, uh, negative 6 plus 4. Negative 6 plus 4 equals negative 2. So, you, you see the pattern. It's the minus 2. Another minus 2. More minus 2. And then. As Joshua thinks he's right, he will try to make a graph. He goes nothing. Zero is x, so four. Um, one, so it goes one, and then oh snap! Wait, wait, wait. It's not four. This is four. And then this is one, two. So one, two, and this is zero, two. Three, two. And then we could see that it doesn't look right, so I'll add one more. Four times negative two is negative eight plus four equals negative four. And then you see one more pen. Minus two. And then that you come here and if you're right you should have a line who am I I don't know who am I what am I I'm a dog pardon I'm a dog okay uh, so this is how you make a table like this 